the marine iguanas are definitely one of the icons of the Galapagos. They live on land, but they feed underwater. So in the morning when they get out to lay on the sand, they need quite a bit of time to get warm and to be able to move or do anything. So they will come out at around eight o'clock and lay out in the warm sand for one or two hours. And then they're warm enough to be able to go into the water to feed. And then they can stay down there for 15 to 20 minutes before it's getting too cold for them and they have to come up and go back to the warm sand. Our spot for the marine iguanas is uh, Cape Douglas on Fernandina Island. And this spot is again completely different from all the others. The first couple of meters the visibility is really bad because the swell is steering up all the sand. But once you get a little bit deeper, it's getting freezing cold, 14, 15, 16 degrees, but also crystal clear. And then right in the middle of it, the iguanas. It doesn't really seem to care about you, which is great because then you can get a little bit more close with the camera. And that's very important because the iguanas are not so deep, so the visibility is not very good. And to be able to get a little bit of detail and color into the picture, you have to get really close. Seeing the iguanas on the beach, they might look a little bit disgusting <laughs> when they spit out the salt water out of their noses and they smell a little bit. But if you see them underwater, it's a completely different thing. When they swim back to the surface, it actually looks quite beautiful. 